Hi, my name is Erin Johnson and I work for the Isaac Walton League. Today I'm going to show you an activity from our Creek Freaks curriculum called Can You See Pollution? Can You See Pollution is a great activity for students to introduce them to the concepts of water pollution and why we monitor for water quality. So first I'm going to show you the materials that you're going to need and how to set it up. So you're going to need five cups. You'll fill the first one with just regular tap water. In the second cup, you're going to want to fill it with a bottled water. In the third cup, you're going to fill it with tap water and add a few drops of food coloring. You can really pick whatever color you like for this one. I'm just gonna use red so it's easy to see. In the fourth cup, you're gonna fill it with tap water again, and then you're gonna add a little bit of either vinegar, just regular white vinegar, or rubbing alcohol. And in your last cup over here, you're going to fill this with um, stream water or pond water, whatever body of water is closest to you. So make sure you label all five of the cups so that you can keep track of what's in which one. So now you're all set up and you're ready to talk with your students about this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pass all of these cups out to your students and have them take a look at them, um, smell them, look at them, but don't taste them. Uh, so pass them out, have them look at them, have them make some conclusions of their own, and I'll go through each one and discuss what you should be talking about with your students. So the first one here we filled with tap water. It looks pretty clear. When students smell it, they might smell a faint odor of chlorine. Uh, that's because our tap water is treated with chlorine to kill bacteria and microbes. So it looks clear visually. We think it's not polluted, but it might have a little smell to it that could come from chlorine. This is good for humans. It obviously kills anything that could make us sick. But if this water was to get into a stream from, say, a water main break, it might be bad for the organisms that live in the stream. The second one here we filled with bottled water. Um, bottled water is regulated differently than tap water. Bottled water is regulated by the FDA and tap water is regulated by the EPA. So bottled water can also possibly have a faint chlorine smell to it. Some bottled water is taken from springs, but others is taken and treated tap water. Uh, so if it was treated tap water, it may still have that faint chlorine smell. Again, it looks good visually, but it might uh, have that chlorine in it, which would be poor for the organisms. Obviously good for humans still because uh, we drink bottled water. The third one here obviously has a strange color to it. Um, streams probably shouldn't be this uh, drastic color. Um, this one uh, is interesting because streams having strange colors could come from natural sources. Tannins from leaves can leach into the water and cause a tea color in the water. Um, this can also come from a pollution source, but the only really way you're going to know is to test the water. So this water had our vinegar or rubbing alcohol in it. Uh, it looks clear visually. Students might think at first glance that this water is not polluted, but if they give it a smell, sometimes they yell ew and gross about it because it, it smells a little, bit, uh, a little bit off. This can come from several different sources, some natural and some man-made. Um, sewage overflows or chemicals in the water can cause a distinct smell. And a natural smell can come from um, possibly methane or natural gases coming up from the stream from decomposing materials. So the only way you're going to know about this one as well is to test the water. This last one here was our, our stream or pond water. Um, this may look a little bit cloudy. Ours here has a little bit of algae in it and students may think that this is a little bit polluted. Um, it could possibly be, but we don't know. Again, the only way to know would be to test it. But this is probably the best water for our organisms. It might have bacteria and microbes in it that would be bad for humans, but if we're thinking about fish and other organisms that live in streams, this would likely be the best water um, for them to be in. Again, we'll only know if we test it. 
So this activity is a great introduction for students about water quality, why we should monitor water quality, and what we're going to be testing for. So it's a great thing to do before you go outside and do any stream monitoring. For more information and to check out the Creek Freaks curriculum, please visit our website.